So here I have the field sketch, so I've just removed all the white color so I can paint on top. And now I'm starting to shape the object from different projections. So now I'm in a top projection view and I'm thinking about the door handle, so I'm trying to do the door handle here. I have different symmetry options uh, activated and right now I have symmetry on all planes. So you can see I've just turned off Z symmetry and then I start to and I turn off X symmetry so I can just uh, make an opening from the side for the door handle and here I have a lot of white color so I want to remove a lot of that color uh, because I want to reshape the door handle to make it round and I used just this circle to create the round shape however it's not looking really round so I want to make it maybe a bit smaller so I'll make it a bit smaller and now I get that shape happening so just to reduce you no know, removing some material by subtracting and drawing the rectangle on top again right now just shaping this uh, part then i want to make a hole through the whole handle and i've just no, made it now we have a cut through the whole handle and i cut the top so i'm just trying to make it a bit uh, uh, nice and tight so the the benefit of it is just it's so easy you just do rectangle uh, um, drawings, uh, just circles and squares, really, really no brainer. And every time, you know, here I thought that uh, handle was a bit too, too long, so I decided to move it across. And now I want to create a couple of like screw, screw ports uh, here, a couple of holes. So if I press uh, the space bar, it will allow me to put a numerical value, so I can put 10 millimeters there. And I press Control and Enter to, to get it. My circle right now is not really a circle, it became an oval because I had symmetry on, so I turn off the symmetry. And I want to activate the uh, 2D grid so that I'm a bit more snapped and I can do the, all these holes on the server, same level. So here you go. I draw from that middle of that grid, uh, 10 millimeters, 10 millimeters again. Uh, control enter to cut the hole. And then I, I always check rotate the object and see how it looks. I'm just uh, evaluating the shape right now, thinking what else can I do it, and really the stage is pretty much finished. I, I decided that I needed an extra hole, um, another screw pot more at the end of the handle, so I decided to draw this extra hole with the grid at 10 millimeters. There we go. So it goes cut through the whole uh, sketch. That's kind of uh, the kind of benefit and the drawback of this whole method that whatever you do cuts through the whole shape. But at the same time, it's fine. It, it, it doesn't break uh, the construction of it. So then I hit apply and it becomes the voxel mesh. So now you can use this mesh, you can export this mesh and uh, to a 3D printer. And I've increased the density so it smooths this whole thing a little bit. And then I'll be just uh, you know, looking at it and I'll can you know, play uh, play with materials and material colors and see how it looks. So there we go, the blue uh, 3D printed plastic essentially.